ഓം നക്രതുണ്ട മഹാകായ സൂര്യകോട്ടിസമപ്രഭ നിർവിഘ്നം കുരു മേ ദേവ സർവകാര്യേഷു സർവദ സരസ്വതി നമസ്തുഭ്യം വരദേ കാമരൂപിണി വിദ്യാരംഭം കരഷ്യാമി സിദ്ധേർഭവത്തു മേ സദാ ഗുരവേ സർവലോകാനോഗിനിധയേർവിദ്യാക്ഷിണാമൂർത്തയേ നമ ഈശ്വരോ ഗുരുരാത്മേതി മൂർത്തിഭേദവിഭാഗിനെ വ്യോഭവ്യാപ്തദേഹായ ദക്ഷിണാമൂർത്തയേ നമ നാരായണം പത്മഭുവം വസിഷ്ടം ശക്തി തത്പുത്രപരാശരഞ്ച വ്യാസം ശുകം ഗൗഡപദം മഹാന്തം ഗോവിന്ദയോഗീന്ദ്രമഥാസ്യ ശിഷ്യം ശ്രീശങ്കരാചാര്യമഥാസ്യ പത്മപാദം ച ഹസ്താമലകം ച ശിഷ്യം തം തോട്ടകം വാർത്തികകാരമന്യാനസ്മദ്ഗുരൂൻ സന്തമാനോസ്മി സദാശിവസമാരംഭം ശങ്കരാചാര്യമധ്യമാം അസ്മദാചാര്യപര്യന്താം വന്ദേ ഗുരുപരമ്പരാം ശ്രുതിസ്മൃതിപുരാണ ആലയം കരുണാലയം നമാമി ഭഗവത്പാദം ശംഖരം ലോകശംഖരം അപാരകരുണാസിന്ധം ജ്ഞാനതം ശാന്തരൂപിണം ശ്രീചന്ദ്രശേഖരഗുരും പ്രണമാമി മുദാൻവഹം യത്കൃപാലേശമാത്രേണ പുമാൻ പൂർണ പ്രജായതെ തം വന്ദേ ബ്രഹ്മവിദ്ധുര്യം സദ്ഗുരും ചന്ദ്രശേഖരം സാക്ഷാത്കൃതം ദയാനന്ദം പരമാർത്ഥസ്വരൂപിണം തത്വജ്ഞാന പ്രശാസ്താരം പ്രണതോസ്മി പരം പദം ഓം സഹനവത്തു സഹനോ ഭുനക്തു തേജസ്വിനാവധിതമസ്തുമാവിദ്വിഷാവഹൈ ഓം ശാന്തശാന്തി സൂത്രാർത്ഥോ വർണ്യത യത്ര സൂത്രാർത്ഥോ സ്വപദാനി ച വർണ്യന്തെ ഭാഷ്യം ഭാഷ്യവിദോ വിദു വാക്പ്രാണശ്ചക്ഷുശ്രോത്രമഥോ ബലമിന്ദ്രിയാണി ചർവാണി ബ്രഹ്മോപനിഷദം മാഹം ബ്രഹ്മ നിരാകുര്യം മാമാ ബ്രഹ്മ നിരാകരോത് അനിരാകരണമസ്തരിരാകരണം മേ അസ്തു അനിരാകരണമസ്തരിരാകരണമീ അസ്തു തദാത്മനിരതേയ ഉപനിഷത്സു ധർമാസ്തേ മയി സന്തോ തേ മയി സന്തോ
ओम शांत शांत शांति 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 चक्षुश्रोत्र कबुदेव युनक्ति श्रोत्र से श्रोत्र मनसो मनोयत वाचो वाचम सब प्राण से प्राण चक्षुशक्षुरति मुच्य धीरा चक्षुशक्षुरा न त्र चक्षुर्गछति न वाग्गछति न वाग्गछति नो मनो न विद्म नो मनो न विद्म न विजानी मो यथै तदनु शिष्यात शुश्रम पूर्व ये न्याच चक्षि चतुर्थ मंत्र चतुर्थ मंत्र से अवतरणिक पदभाष से अवतरणिक अन्देव तद्विता दो विदिता दधी वाक्य आत्मा ब्रह्म गीति प्रतिपादिते श्रोतु आशंका जाता श्रोतु आशंका जाता तत्कथन आत्मा ब्रह्म पूर्व मंत्रे उषय पदार्थान ज्ञान विषय ज्ञान ब्रह्म न तो विषय नाट एन आबजेक्ट ब्रह्म विषयीकरण इंद्रिय अथवा किमी प्रमाण प्रमाण विषयीकरण नीता तनता अहमात्मा तत्र श्रोतु शिष्य वक्ता गुर उपद 
उपदेष्टा गुरु श्रोता शिष्य श्रोतु शंका जाता कथम नु आत्मा नु इति संशया ते नु नु इति अव्यय पार्टिकल इंडिकेट्स डाउट कथन तत् कथन नु आत्मा ब्रह्म अहम आत्मा कथम ब्रह्म भवति ओके नै ब्रह्म पी ब्रह्म ब्रह्म दैट इज दी संशया why because because <coughs> and dvaita buddhi is the <coughs> the dvaita buddhi cannot accept brahma buddhi cannot accept everything is brahma akam brahma iti jagat kaanam brahma cannot accept dvaita buddhi in fact <coughs> all our all our orientation in fact all the darshana among the uh, dvadasha darshana six darshanas are nastika darshana six darshanas are astika even among the nastika also they don't talk about uh, at all uh, atma at all so buddha buddha buddhism and all shunyavad the the atma is atma there is no atma shunya emptiness among the astika darshana also except vedanta except uttara mimamsa no other darshana is advaita darshana everything is dvaita darshana therefore it vaisheshika nyaya yoga everything is they are all dvaita vadis and of course added to that this is ta dvaita dvaita etc dvaita vadis so dvaita buddhi is so strong that to say aham ishwaraha aham brahma that is a a blasphemy for a upasaka because upasaka is so uh, so much uh, yes got that uh, abhi uh, that upasya abhimana that bed abhimana is there. so you cannot imagine that upasya devata is myself so <clears throat> therefore with veda buddhi you cannot do upasana with that sorry, with veda buddhi you cannot do upasana with veda buddhi only you can do upasana in fact upasana is a means to arrive at the abheda buddhi but at the same upasana upasana or even the karma karma yoga karma etc the karma kanda the agni karma etc can become as uh, a kind of uh, a sort of bondage one cannot easily give up, give up at one point should be given up that also given up that is the next stage after giving up only the person comes to vedanta so <clears throat> that's not that much easy therefore shanka is natural shotuh ashanka jata then atma hi nama atma hi nama adikrutah adikrutah karmani upasane cha karmani upasane cha samsari कर्म उपासन वाधन अहमारी He cannot accept himself to be a Brahma. Aham Atma Jiva Atma Samsari. Aham Adikrita Ha. I am qualified, eligible in doing karma and upasana. Karma in, implies dvaita buddhi. Upasana implies dvaita buddhi. So samsara is nothing but dvaita buddhi. Entertaining dvaita buddhi is samsara. So therefore, Jiva Atma says, Aham Samsari. I am eligible to do karma and upasana. Adikrita Ha. Qualified. therefore karma upasana manushtaya brahmaadi devan va swargam va praptum ichati as a jivatma i i wish to gain the swarga loka ar brahmaadi devan i wish to gain brahmaadi deva brahma vishnu shiva wherever they decide that loka loka prapti hi a swarga prapti hi therefore 
being a samsari. So samsara continues. Durga prapti paraloka, yopi local, deva loka, any other loka, sorga loka. Prapti is, that is also samsari. That is why the definition of very vairagya is iha amutra. This loka as well as that loka, iha boga, boga, tyagaha. That is vairagya. Vairagya, in fact, when we say sadhana chatushtam, vairagya implies that implies his understanding. So, other is what is Vairagya is. Vairagya for, not only for the Bhoga of this Loka, Bhoga of the other Loka also. It means, Bhoga, when we say Bhoga, there is Bhokta and Bhojya, Dvaita. So, Dvaita is Samsara. So, therefore, as a Samsari, Raktum, Ichati, Jivatma, Sadhana Manushtaya, Sadhana Yanushtaya, Sadhana in the form of Upasana and Karma, practicing that a jivatma, a samsari jivatma wants to gain brahmadi devan, irnegarbha, padavi, etc. and sarga loka prapti, etc. wants to gain. Therefore, tat 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 tasmat anyaha upasyaha. Tat tasmat anyaha upasyaha. Vishnuhu, Ishwaraha, Indraha, Pranaha, Va, Brahma, Bhavitam, Adhati. Vishnu, 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 Upasa kebhyaha, upasyaha, upasi devata, anyaha eva. Take it. Therefore, it is blasphemy to think of upasya to be the swarupa of the upasaka, oneself. Therefore, upasyaha, upasi devata, vishtuhu, ishwaraha, pranaha, indraha, they alone are eligible to become, to be Brahma, to be Brahma. Natu Atma, Natu, the Samsari Atma. So, <clears throat> therefore, Tasmat Anyaha, therefore, Upasyaha, the one who is meditated upon, the Upasya, is different, is different from Upasaka. They cannot, they, therefore, they cannot be Advaitam. Atma cannot be Brahma. Loka Pratyaya Virodhat. Loka Pratyaya Virodhat. To say Atma is Brahma is Loka Pratya Viroda. It is contradiction, contradictory to the Loka Pratya, the thinking of the people, the Loka. The Loka is people. It's contradiction to the, the common thought, a common thinking. That is why this Dvaitam is difficult to accept. They caught in the Dvaita. Dvaita is not easy to give up, it's easy to be given up. In spite of learning so many Shastras, this Dvaita, Dvaita Buddhi will continue. Dvaita Buddhi is something which is very difficult to be replaced by Advaita Buddhi. It requires a lot of grace, a lot of uh, yeah, <clears throat> a lot of conviction what the Shastruti says. That is why Shastram to be studied in depth and and again and again, punaf punaha shavanam. <clears throat> yeah, a surface uh, study, not studying in uh, in depth, not not studying bashya, not studying uh, the various texts. There's so many texts. The text uh, is it's not uh, it is it's not that each text talks about one one thing, talks the same thing. Then why is there are so many texts? Because studying all these texts. The mind is soaked in this jnana. To keep the mind, to keep the buddhi in this knowledge, or Lord, so many texts are available. There should not pass a day without the study of the Shastra, without study of the Advaita Shastra. A day should not be spent. So that's why missing a class is missing something. So a day should not be spent without studying the Shastra. At least 
a few hours in a day, the shastram, this, this thought should be put into the mind. In a, in a day, in a day, 24 hours, most of the time, we are attaining this Dvaita Bhutti. Only in a class or <clears throat> only when we study, that time only this Advaita Buddhi is there. The moment we come out of this our study, then when we start interacting with the world, then Dvaita Buddhi, Dvaita comes. That is why Nididhyasana. Why Nididhyasana we keep emphasizing, we say that, that alertness. Because the moment you start interacting with the world, Dvaita Buddhi walks in and you forget whatever you have study that Advaita, you have to make it so alive. That is why an alert life is suggested in the form of Nididhyasanam. Either Samadhi Abhyasarupa Nididhyasanam or Brahma Abhyasarupa Nididhyasanam. Because this Advaita is Loka Pratya Viroda. To say that Upasya is Upasaka Surupa, there is no difference between Surupa of Upasya and Upasaka. That is Loka Pratya Virodhat. That is the Hetu. Virodhat Aham Atma Brahma Bhavitam Nargati. Then who is Brahma? Ishwaraha Vishnuhu Indrahava Iti. This is not only the common thinking of the people. The it is also the thinking of the Tarkika and other Darshanikas also. That's what the Acharya says here. Yata, yata Anye Tarkika Ha. Yatha anye dhatikaha. Ishwarat anyaha atma iti achakshate. Ishwarat anyaha atma iti achakshate. Tatha karminaha. Tatha karminaha. Amum yaja amum yaja iti. Amum yaja amum yaja iti. Anya yeva devata upasate. Anya 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 other Darshanika is said, so Tarkika Gaya. So all the other Darshanika, Tarkika, Tarkika are supposed to be, they are thinking people, not supposed to be. They are logician, they are thinking people. They themselves say Ishwara Tanyaha Atma. They cannot accept Advaita. Ishwara Tanyaha Atma is different from Ishwara. Jagat Karam Brahmanaha Atma Anyaha Yeva Iti Achakshate. They tell what to what to talk about Karminaha Pura Mimasa. For them, the entire Shastram Amna Yasi Kriyatatpat Adartakim Atadartana. It is their motto, it is their sutra, Jemini Sutra. So they are so committed to karma only. They say entire Shastram is committed to karma. Therefore, Amum Yaja, Amum Yaja. You worship this, you do this, you do. Amum Yaja, you worship this, worship that. Amum Yaja, Amum Yaja, Sri Patum Dragadhani Kapanishad. Iti Anya Deva Yeva Upa Upasate. Therefore, therefore, Anya Devataha. Anyaha Devataha Yeva Upasate. So, when Upasana is said, it is Dvaita. So, Karma and Upasana. So, Karminaha. Karminaha, it includes Upasaka also. Karminaha, Amum Yaja. Amum Yaja means Yajanam. Yajanam, Pujanam. Therefore, Upasana. Therefore, Anya Eva Devata. When you say Anya, it is not Atma, it is not me. Therefore, Devatas are different. Upasyas are different. Different from Atma. When you... Therefore, how can the Atma be Brahma? If you say Upa Devata, that Upasya is different from Upasaka, and up say Upasana, Upasaka is Brahma, then what about Upas Upasaka? Then Upa Upasya Devata. Then we have to, when Upasaka is Brahma, Upasya Devata, Upasya Devata, then it becomes uh, one level down, many levels down Upasya Devata. Therefore, that, that cannot be Upasya Devata also Brahma. It means Agam Atma Brahma, Jivatma, Samsari Brahma, Upasya Devata also Brahma. Then where is Upasana? There cannot be Upasana. So there is problem when they are very... Commitment to the Veda in the form of karma and upasana itself is defeated. They cannot accept. Therefore, upasya devatas or anyaha upasake bhyaha anyaha eva. If they accept dvaita means then they have to accept shastram to be shastram to be of two parts. 
జ్ఞాన కర్మకాండ జ్ఞానకాండ శాస్త్ర ద్వయం టికాట్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ ఫర్ దమ్ దర్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ శాస్త్రం దర్ ఫోర్ దర్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ దర్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ వన్ అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం ఫర్ ద స్టడీ ఆఫ్ శాస్త్రం బికాస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ ఏక శాస్త్రం ఎవరు ఏక శాస్త్రవాది ఎవరు ఏక శాస్త్రవాది దర్ ఫోర్ అనుబంధ చతుష్టయం ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఓన్లీ వన్ వెర్ ఎస్ ఫర్ అద్వైత యూ ఎక్సెప్ట్ అద్వైత దెన్ శాస్త్రం ఈస్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు టూ కర్మకాండ అండ్ జ్ఞానకాండ జ్ఞానకాండ వెన్ వీ సే దట్ ఈస్ ఉపనిషత్ అద్వైత సో ద ఫర్ దే కెనాట్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ వెన్ దే ఎక్సెప్ట్ ఆల్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ విల్ క్రాప్ అప్ ఫర్ దెమ్ అండ్ దే కెనాట్ దే కెనాట్ ఫేస్ దే కెనాట్ అసిమిలేట్ ఆల్ దిస్ సో దర్ ఫోర్ దే స్టిక్ టు ద్వైత ద్వైత ఏవ the buddhi you can imagine <clears throat> how powerful is dvaita buddhi is though they are highly learned and uh, they are logicians they have got the logical reasoning capability is there but still they cannot accept the fact this of truth is very difficult to be, to be accepted therefore it requires a lot of a uh, lot of grace more than intellectual knowledge and other capability it requires a lot of ishwar anugraha therefore only ishwar anugraha deva pumsa advaita vasana it is not easy that advaita vasana so advaita for many of many of the people it is a blasphemy they cannot even imagine of that so therefore to to come to advaita to come to advaita is it's not easy it requires a lot of uh, ishwar anugraha ishwar anugraha shastra anugraha it requires the grace of oneself atma anugraha atma kripa atma kripa guru kripa shastra kripa ishwar kripa all the kripas are required all the blessings blessings of the rishis and the acharyas are required that alone is the means for freedom advaita deva advaita jnana deva mukti not not advaita advaita వైతాధి భయం భవతి సంసార కంటిన్యూస్ సో దోర్ అమం యజ అమం యజ మీన్స్ హౌ లాంగ్ ఇట్ విల్ గో ఆన్ హౌ లాంగ్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ దెన్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ మోక్ష సో లాజికలీ ఆల్సో దట్ లాజికలీ వీ క్యాన్ సే బట్ దట్ ఆల్ దే కెనాట్ అక్సెప్ట్ ఈవెన్ తో డే ఆర్ లాయిలీ లాజికల్ పీపుల్ లాజికల్ రీజనింగ్ పీపుల్ దే కెనాట్ అక్సెప్ట్ సో దోర్ to come out of this dvaita buddhi is not easy so therefore the, all these are the statements of the shishya we have to imagine these are the statements of the shishya which the acharya presents to the mouth of the shishya stotu ashanka therefore tasmat tasmat smat yuktam 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 yat viditam yat viditam upasyam ఉపాస్యంత therefore it must be abhijitam no that also you cannot say that is by vidita tanyat abhijita tanyat now here this is vidhi it is viditam that which is objectified because in the upasana upasaka objectifies he visualizes is ishta devata objectifies viditam upasyam that devata that is brahma tat brahma bhave therefore vishnu ishwaraha tat upasi devata that is brahma తత అన్య ఉపాసక అన్య రెఫరింగ్ టు ఉపాసే దేవత ఉపాసే దేవతాభ్య అన్య ఉపాసక సో దోర్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది ఉపాసే దేవత ఈస్ ఉపాసక దర్ కన్క్లూషన్ సో దోర్ దిస్ దిస్ ఇస్ అంక దిస్ the acharya as read out from the face of the shishya or from the vakya of the shishya that the acharya says in the next line 
ताम एताम आशंकाम ताम एताम आशंकाम शिष्य लिंगे न उपलक्ष्य शिष्य लिंगे न उपलक्ष्य तद्वाक्या द्वा तद्वाक्या द्वा आग आग मायेबम संकेश्ता मायेबम संकेश्ता एता माशंका माशंका स्त्रीलिंगा आशंका शंका आशंका बहुत अर्थ से मंडी कि दाव उपसर्गा डेसेंट चेंज इन मीनिंग शंक दातु शंकते आत्मने परी एता माशंका दिस डाउट शिष्य लिंगे ना शिष्य से लिंगा हा सम साइन सम 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 कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स तो शिष्य विल बी सीन ना इस फ्रॉम दिस फेस इमिलाब एडोटिंग फेस so his body language the gesture that is linga upalaksha having discerned or tas tad vakya adva or maybe the shishya would have said tad vakya is shishya se vakya shishya shishya se vakyam shishya vakyam tasma adva from the statement of the shishya the uh, ashanka the doubt discerning the doubt knowing the doubt then the acharya is ma evam I said before, Ma is Mangi Lung Lung Lakara. It is Lung Lakara. Ashankishtaha Mangi Lung Lung. We'll see Mangi Lung. Lung Lakara is Bhute, but when Ma is used, Ma iti Ma Ma also we have two Ma. One is Ma, other one is Ma. Both are Aviya. I think we saw in the Aviya. Akram. So, Mangi Lung. So, there Lung Lakara is used and Lung Lakara Akara, that Agama will disappear. Ma Evam Sankishtaha. So, may you not doubt in this manner. Iti, the Acharya says, what does it say, do? the Acharya, the Upanishad? Yadvachana Vyuditam. मंत्र कैन बी स्प्रेड टू फोर क्वार्टर्स वाचा न अभ्युदित नंबर वन ये नवाक अभ्युद्यते सेकंड क्वार्टर तदेव ब्रह्मत्वं विद्धि थर्ड वन नेदम एडिदम उपासते फोर्थ वन ये तो वाचा न अभ्युद्यतम अभ्युद्यतम दैट विच इज नॉट उदितम उदितम इस वधदातु निष्ठा रूपम तो दैट इज कर्मणि अभी पूर्व का वध उदितम अभी पूर्व का अभ्युद्यतम न अभ्युद्यतम अनब्युदितम ये तो वाचा अनब्युदितम दैट विच कैन नॉट बी टोल्ड दैट विच इस नॉट टोल्ड नॉट विच कैन नॉट बी ये दैट विच इस नॉट टोल्ड दैट विच इस कैन नॉट इस नॉट मेंशन इस नॉट डिस्क्राइब्ड अब कैन से विच कैन नॉट बी ये ये वन तो डिस्टर्ब रहते हैं यूज यूज्ड बट इट द मीनिंग इस Now, what is the meaning of watch? The Acharya will say we have seen actually all these things. Just a quick recap. Therefore, watcha na abhiditam. So, walk can be a vagindriya or watch. The uh, uh, can be a speech also. The words padam padani. So, it can be indriya or words. But Acharya will say it is not indriya. It is a words. We will see that we cannot take the watchya ta. We have to take the lakshya ta. So, therefore. It cannot be revealed by words. That is the meaning. For what? That is the vachyarta. Why we say because karma indriya. <clears throat> if you take vach, vach is a karma indriya. Karma indriya is not a pramana. What is a pramana? Words are the pramana. Therefore, vach here means has to be the words. So the words cannot be revealed. Then words cannot be revealed. Then why the shastra means? No, no. Shastra we cannot take the vachyarta of the shastra. We have to do the take the lakshyarta. We have to do bhagatya ka lakshana. जगत अजगलक्षण तत्व तो मसी 
तत्व ईश्वरा एंड तुम जीवा बहुत आर इक्वेटेड द रूपा दीज आर कंप्लीटली ऑपोजिट कंप्लीटली कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी उपाधि वन इज उत्कृष्ट उपाधि ईश्वर उपाधि इज उत्कृष्ट उपाधि जीव उपाधि निकृष्ट उपाधि निकृष्ट उपा उपाधि ईश्वर उत्कृष्ट उपाधि ईश्वर निकृष्ट उपाधि जीव बहुत आर इक्वेटेड बहुत आर इक्वेटेड मीन्स नॉट in terms of upadi we have to drop the upadi bhagatya halakshana and then equate and what do you equate chaitanya amsha is equated chaitanya amsha of ishvara chaitanya amsha of jivara jiva the chaitanyam is same that is what bhagatya halakshana bhagatya is a part of it is rejected and part of it is accepted upadi is rejected in terms of upadi you cannot equate jiva and ishvara in terms of chaitanya chaitanya amsha so upaditaha vedaha asti eva chaitanya drishtya abedaha that is bhagavatya lakshana that is that is after vichara not vachyata it is lakshyartha therefore the words of the shastram when inquired into that is why vicharaha kartavya all this vichara form the part of shavanam in the vedanta sara visa shavanam vicharaha तात्पर्य अवधारण श्रवण बै अप्लाइ द षड विद लिंग उपक्रमोपसंहार दिसक्षण टू बी डन डन वी आर बट तात्पर्य ऑफ दि शास्त्र तात्पर्य आलो वि सो द मीनिंग अर्थपर तत् पर अर्थ पर भाव तात्पर्य अरेवट तात्पर्य द सेम तात्पर्य अरेव बै डिफरेंट people with different darshanika differently within astika darshana itself tatparyam for the vishishta advaitins and others asheshikas ya advaita that is uttara vimamsa says it is advaita so therefore vachyartha is negated lakshyartha is taken therefore shastra being a pramanam therefore vach here means words सो वाचा न अभ्युदित यो वाचो निवर्तंत सेम ऐडिया वाच वाक् कैनाट आबजेक्टिफा आत्मा सो दर् फोर बट ये नाक अभ्युदित बै दट अलोन वाक् द स्पीच इज रिवील हाउ द स्पीच हाउ द वर्ड कम फ्रम दि वोकल ऑर्गन वाकिंद्रिय that is in the presence of that alone it comes ena vak abhyudite the vak the speech is revealed abhyudite preditah ena the by which that is atma that alone makes it vak indriya functional that when vak indriya function the words come that, that's why it is said vachoh vacham speech of the speech which makes a speech speech meaning which makes a speech functional अभ्युद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्यूद्य
उपासते उपासका हा न उपासका वर्षिप दोस दैट इज नॉट ब्रह्म इट मींस द ऑल द देवताज उपासिया इज नॉट ब्रह्म इट मींस दैट ब्रह्म इज नॉट अवेलेबल एस एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो दैट which is available for objectification is not brahma that is the meaning so the negative way it is said nagidam nedam yat idam upasate yat idam upasate this which the people meditate that is not brahma yat idam upasate yat referring to the upasya devata so upasya devata that is referred to by the word idam that the people worship na that is not that is not brahma na idam it is not brahma is not this which is worshiped by the upasaka as an object therefore brahma is not an object upasana involves veda buddhi the the upasi devata is the object idam whereas brahma is not idam na idam therefore न इदम इत उपास उपासक उपास थे न ब्रह्म तत् इदम इति दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द फोर्थ क्वार्टर ऑफ द मंत्र इवन तो इट इज सेड दैट ब्रह्म इज यू विद दैट इज गुड द मंत्र गुड हैव स्टॉप्ड बट इट सेस अगेन द व्हाट इज नॉट ब्रह्म आल्सो इट इज सेड यू आर दैट ब्रह्म मे यू नो मे यू आल्सो नो दैट इदम इज नॉट ब्रह्म द उपासय इज नॉट ब्रह्म तदेव ब्रह्म तत् ब्रह्म आत्मा ब्रह्म व्हाट इज नॉट ब्रह्म आल्सो इट इज सेड इन द लास्ट क्वार्टर ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी हैव सीन द भाष्यम वी कैन रीड भाष्यम फ्यू लाइंस आई थिंक फोर फाइव लाइंस वी हैव रीड विल रीड यत चैतन्यूलादिषु अष्टसु स्थानु विषक्त आग्नेय बट सी Always don't see the first part of the sentence. You'll have difficulty. Last part you see. Varna nam abhivanjakam karanam. Simple. Start from there. You can easily you can recall from what we have seen before. We already we have seen this line. Varna nam abhivanjakam karanam means create an energy karanam. It means instrument. Sadhana karanam. And abhivanjakam means abhi purvaka vinj manifest manifestor. right so abhivanjakam is not producer please note it's something uh, to be noted here see uh, varnas the letters letters are there in the akasha in the uh, uh, devatin kural that uh, chandrashekha uh, saraswati swami that devatin kural book is there there if you an english translation of, i have read that the i don't know which part of that book the words of the vedas are there in the eta there I in mean, english translation is not good but uh, it's given like that i read long back in akasha it is the the words rishis are tuned to that and they tap those words and that is what they reveal the form of the vedas so therefore they do not produce so the karanam do not produce the 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 words the the, the letters So Aksharani, that uh, all the, the letters, the vowels and consonants, they are not produced. They are there. But then, what is this karanam? What does this karanam do? They manifest. Abhi vanjakam is manifest. 
So Abhivinjakam Karanam. Karanam just manifested. Please note that Aksharani is not Utpaditan. Now that not Aksharani is not they are not produced. They are there in the Akasha, in the ether. Akasha, it is there. Then what is this Karana? What does this Karana do? They manifest Varnanam Abhivanjakam Karanam. So Karanam, that Vagindriya, are the manifester of the Varna. Varnyate, Prairyate, the Varnaha, the letters, Akshara, Aksharani. So Abhivanjakam. Abhivanjaka, Vench to say. Abhivanjaka is manifest. Abhivanjakam, it is Napumsakalinga, because Karana Napumsakalinga. Manifester. It means here, the, the, that's why Vedas we say, when the Srishti is done, it has called Pravahanityattam. This, this uh, cycle is gone, next cycle comes, the Veda again will come. It has got Pravahanityattam. At the end of the Srishti, the long the Srishti Veda goes back, again it manifests the next uh, cycle, next Kalpa. So, Varnana Mabhivanjakam Karanam. So, Karana, the Vagindriya, the Karana, they are the manifester of this, the, the letters. How do they do the manifest in the form of sound? So, sound. And it is <clears throat> Yata Chaitanya Matra Sattakam, that which is Chaitanya Matra, Chaitanya Matra Karmadarya, Mayur Vimsakari, Chaitanya Matra, Chaitanya Eva, Ityartaha. Chaitanya Eva, Satta, Esya Saha, Bhagurigi, Satta Kam, Kapratya Isar, Satta Ka, that Chaitanya, Chaitanya Eva Madra Satta Kam, Satta, that existence in the form of Chaitanya, the consciousness, that Vacha, by the word Vacha, which is in the Molam, the mantra, there Vakiti, Jukhva Mola Dishu, Ashtasu Staneshu, six. Stana, Ucharna Stana, Asya, Tulya Asya, Asya Pratram. Asya is the Stana. Ashta, Ashtasu Stana Eshu. We know all the Stana, Kanta, Oshtya, etc. And one more is there, Uraha, also to be included, which uh, is on the last verse. So, Jigva Muladi, Ashtasu Stana Eshu. If, if you remember all the Ashta, the, the Ucharna Stana, Kantaha, Murda, Jigva Mulam, Danta, Nasika, Oshtau, Talu, then Uraha also to be included, one more, which is there in the Samskrata Bharati book the introduction, which we saw. Uraha, the certain um, consonant combination, Hakara followed by uh, Vakara, Lakara, all this, Uras, chest, that is also one more Stana, Uchana Stana. So Ashta, Ashtasu, Staneshu, Vishaktam, Vishaktam, Agneyam. Vishaktam is associated. Vishakta nothing to do with Vishayanda. Vishaktam. It is, it is a Dhatu here. It is Vipurvaka Sajj Dhatu. From that only you get Sangha, Sajjana, all those associated. So Jigva, Mal, Jigva Mola, Mola Dishu Ashtasustana Dishu associated with this Uchana Stana and that is Agneyam. Agneyam is it is Agni, I am referring to the organ for which the Devata is Agni. So, Tadita word, Agni, Yam. Agni Devata is the Isya, Karanasya, Karanam. The, the deity who presides over the Vagindra is Agni. That's why the speech is fiery, we say, fiery speech, Agni, Yam. And that is Varnanam, Abhivanjakam, Karanam. That is Varnanam Abhivanjakam Karanam, the Karana, which is a manifestor of the Varna, the letters. So that which is yet Chaitanya Madra Sattakam, that existence which is in the form of consciousness, it is, cannot be revealed by work. That is what it says here. Yet Vacha, then Vacha, the meaning of the Vacha is Vach referring to the organs of speech and the organs of speech. How many are that, uh, the places of pronunciation? The Dashtasu, Staneshu, that eight places. They are the organs of speech, the, the uh, vocal organs. This is located in these eight uh, places, associated with these eight places. And they are Agneya. Tadishtana Devata is Agni. 
and that is the manifester of the letters of the the language the acharya here just to mention what is yat yat which is used in the mula yat and vacha but na abhyutam that we need to not that that acharya himself will say so yat in the mula in the mantra is mentioned what it means it, that existence which is in the form of consciousness that is yat vacha the meaning of the word vacha is arnanam abhivanjakam karanam and that varna abhivanjakam how does it happen it happens to the uh, it, it happens with the help of the places of pronunciation this ashtasun sthaneshu that associated with associated with the eight places of pronunciation it means the organ of speech which is associated which is situated in this eight places and that is the manifester of this the letters of the language iti this is one meaning of the word vak the second meaning that acharya says varnascha varnascha artha sanketa parichinna artha sanketa parichinna etavantah etavanchinna etavantah अर्थ संकेत परिचिन्ना the words the padam the padani so uchyate anena iti vak utet uchyate that by which uchyate vachanani vachaha anena iti that is vak that is karana vidpati that is karanam padanam abhivanjakam karanam uchyate iti vak that is karma vidpati words referring to the words padani so that the acharya says another meaning of the word vak varnaha varnaha on the letters aksharani this aksharani are eta artha sanketa parichinnaha artha sanketa parichinnaha the word artha sanketa that is also we saw artha sanketa parichinnaha meaning uh, they are these letters the which are parichinna which are limited and they are used in particular sequence to refer to a thing for example if you say the word if you want to refer to a kukura suppose if kukura in english d o g dog so d has to be first followed by o followed by g so there is a krama there is an order when the letters are put in this order then it will refer to a kukura you cannot put o d g or g o d if you put g o d then it will refer to something else god dog is not god or god is not dog so therefore the word reveal the meaning the intended meaning that is called artha sanketa when you put that in a particular order uh, when the letters the word reveal the meaning when when the letters of the word are put in a particular order so we want to say something there is a desire and there is a convention agreed convention what is that the words must have the letters in a particular order so artha sanketa and that is called a padam then the padam comes in padam the word which is manifested through the vagindriya through the vagindriya that vagindriya na abhi vingya ha the next line he says therefore artha sanketa parichinna ha the the letters artha sanketa these letters are when the artha sanketa artha is meaning artha sanketa which is in keeping with the the desire the viveksha which keeping with the con- convention the the word reveals the meaning when they are put it in a particular order parichinnaha when they are parichinnaha when they are fixed when they are limited when they are constrained put it in a particular sequence krama prayuktaha particular sequence 
so therefore krama evam krama prayukta ha when put it in a particular order sequence so artha sanketa parichinna ha means the determined by the the meaning determined by the the, the designation whatever the the word the padam the the words reveal one uh, we want to say you want to uh, that you want to say that the word will reveal that meaning when the letters of the word are put in a particular order that is the the, the meaning so that this is the ex explanation of the word varnaha what is varnaha artha sanketa parichinnaha etavanta evam krama krama prayutaha iti varnanam samugam padam padanam samugam vakya so vakya consisting of words and word consisting of letters so that words the letters when they are put it in a particular order by which particular meaning is intended sanketa therefore by particular meaning is sanketa it is put in it is parichinna it is limited because it cannot a word cannot reveal everything when you say bog dog means it refer only to that the word the, the, the letter of the words cannot be put in any order to refer to that so it is there is there is some constraint parichinna when it is constrained in a particular way and it is referred to something artha sanketa bhavati dog means it is dog only that is artha sanketa parichinna etavanta and krama prayukta it is put in a particular sequence order varna ha varna ha this of the words are constructed padani padam sa now having put the words in a particular order and you have a vivaksha to refer to something artha sanketa and you have put the letters in a particular order now that which manifest that that is called vak evam next line evam 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 tadabhi vyangya shabda tadabhi vyangya shabda vyangya shabda vyangya karmani padam vagiti uchyate padam vadam vagiti uchyate evam that thus tad abhivingya tad referring to the pada pada consisting of the varna and that is abhivingya manifested through manifested through what vagindriya vagindriya hi yat abhivingya what abhivingya is shabda the padam that is called vag so what is vak is that which is revealed that which is manifested through the organ of speech that is called vak the acharya first he said what is varna then he says what is the vak vak means the word word consisting of letters so the word means it's not literally a word vakya tatvamasi is a vakya so vakya consisting of padam padani pada consisting of letters so what is what are letters that is said letters have to be in a, put in a particular order in a word to be to reveal a particular thing the particular designation then that are revealed tad abhi tadabhi vyangya that manifest tad tad referring to vagindriya vagindriya hi yat abhi abhi vyangya by vagindriya what is revealed what is uchyate that is shabda the word that is padam that is va iti uchyate that is called va tadabhi vyanga tat referring to vagindriya tad is not referring to the the shabda then it's a problem tadabhi vyanga there we have to note vagindriyaihi yat abhi vyanga that is tadabhi vyanga abhivenjanam abhivenjaka is we saw manifest there it is karanam the karanam manifest what that is tadabhi vyangya therefore tat referring to this abhi vyanjaka karanam therefore taihi artena vagindriyena abhi vyangya what is manifested that is shabda and that is padam that is vak that is what is called vak iti uchyate this is the meaning of the word vak so first of all we say vak meaning the karanam here we say vak meaning the shabda the padam the words words means not just the words the vakya vakyani also is vak only uh, 
because communication we have to use a uh, there must be one kriya padam and of course nama padam is understood gachati means saha gachati so you will have uh, gachati is also a is a vakya only though the karta is not mentioned but it is a vakya understood it is saha gachati or just gachami means aham gachami it's a vakya sentence so vak means uh, not just a word it means a sentence a complete sentence making a, a meaningful sentence vak iti uchyate व्यज्यम अकारो वै सर्वाषा बक्वी नाना रूपा बबति वी सो आल्सो सो दिस अकारो वे सर्वा वा अकारा यू सी ऑल द वर्ड्स अब यू हाउ कैन यू से अकारा इज ऑल द वर्ड्स ओंकारा वी से ओंकारा इन द ओम व्हेन वी से ओम ओम इन्वॉल्व्स ओ थ्रू द द ओपनिंग ऑफ द माउथ विद द लेटर अकारा अकारा इज फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ द ओंकारा व्हेन यू से ओम यू हैव टू open your mouth then round the mouth and then close the mouth om so opening and and closing it means the omkara includes all the words all the words all the words means all the words all the words of any language every language because the the uchcharanam the speaking the articulation involves opening and closing of the mouth so all the words are contained in om omkara therefore any word is omkara ishwara om means it is ishwara avati rakshati iti om ishwara iti so therefore om ishwara parameshwara is sarva vak but here akaro is a no no that is akara means the first letter of the omkara is akara therefore by akaro by sarva vak what is referred to is omkara only so omkara is what is referred to so omkara is all the vak all the speech all the speech are contained in that omkara which is ishwara omkara is ishwara shabda pratika for ishwara sa yesha sa yesha that which is this omkara roopa sa yesha sparsha antastu ushma bihi vajyamana vajyamana bhakti nana roopa bhavati that alone that which is the omkara sa yesha sa is vak omkara is vak a speech a word the first sa sa vak what is that vak omkara ha vak it is vajyamana manifested manifested how बख्वी नाना रूपा नाना रूपा ने यस्याह सा नाना रूपा बगुब्री की समास तो बगवी इज मैनिफोल्ड नाना रूपा इज ऑफ वेरियस फॉर्म्स वेरियस टाइप्स द सेम ओंकार अलोन मैनिफेस्टिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स वेरियस लेटर्स वेरियस वर्ड्स बख्वी मैनिफोल्ड एंड वेरियस वर्ड्स औ स्पर्श अंतस्त ऊष्म बिहि sparsha referring to sparsha consonants so all the class consonants are covered by sparsha kuchu tu tu pu prishtanam sparsha sparsha has prishtanam we have seen sparsha antastha sami vowels ante tishtati cannot be classified as vowels or consonants even though in english we say semi vowels yara lava and ushma ushman shabda ushma bihi nakaranta shabda ushma bihi so ushma bihi shasha saha all this so ushma bihi sparsha antastha ushma bihi in 
it is a tritya bhakti it's a, this is ittambhati tritya in the form of the omkara which is manifested as various letters various in the form of this which is in the form of this sparsha antastha ushva bihi and there are various types and various and, and uh, nana roop arupani bhavanti they, co- they combine and they become manifold and they become many the letters combined and they become manifold they become many nana roopa bhavanti that alone forms the language uh, the words of the language any language iti shute therefore omkara is the sarva vak sarva sam bacham vak is omkara akara akaro vai omkara akara hai is omkara omkara okay <clears throat> therefore this omkara is this is all is all the speech this, that is in, that manifest in the form of this sparsha antastha ushma and they become many and various types it is shutehe then here why others quote from this is explaining the word watch the walk walk meaning the word so omkara is all walk sarva walk all the all the speech then further he says mitam amitam mitam tam amitam swaraha 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 satyanrute satyanrute yeshah vikaraha yeshah vikaraha yasya yeshah yasya taya vacha Bhashya is a little uh, difficult one. I mean, uh, not because he is giving a lot of details about the Vedas and other things. So, mitam amitam, without uh, this also, uh, uh, we have to refer to the Dika. For Dika only, we, Bhashya, the, uh, if we have doubt with regard to what it means, then we refer to the Dika. Sometimes, we don't tell, but it is, we take a meaning from the Dika. What Dika Kara? Dika Kara is another Giri. that is also there in the document so mitam amitam so taya vacha you see the taya vacha padatvena parichinnaya karana gunavatya anabhyutitam yeshaka vikaraha esyaha so now bashakara explains what is vak by which the brahma is anabhyuktam anabhyutitam aprakashitam vacha na abhyutitam and what is it work is says anambhitam aprakashitam anabhyuktam taya vacha by that vacha by that vacha yeshah vikaraha yasyaha the six fold the sorry the five fold modifications that is said here that is by the words by the vakya by the vakya whether it is laukika or vedika brahma cannot be revealed as an cannot be revealed as an object by vachyata it is not vachyata we cannot it cannot it is not revealed we cannot go by vachyata therefore we cannot use laukika vakya or vedika even vedika vakya also brahma is not an object therefore by words brahma cannot be revealed because it is not an object so that is Here, Ashikara says, "Mitam, mitam means measured. Mitam, pari mitam we say, mitam, mitam is measured. Amitam, there is no limit. So measured, amitam, there is no measure, there is no limit, there is no measurement. So mitam referring to the Veda mantra. Mitam referring to the Rig Veda mantras. Rig Veda mantras are they have limited uh, number of." Uh, letters and uh, you know they are mantra they are uh, recited they are chanted therefore uh, they have have definite number of letters and uh, like uh, 
the shloka, shloka Anushtup Chandas, if you take the Anushtup Chandas, a line must have eight, 16 letters, the first quarter eight, second quarter eight, second line also, same way, 16 letters, you can divide into two quarters, eight and eight. So the letters are, the letters and the words, they are, they are mita, they are measured, they are limited. So mantras, rig mantras are like that. Shtokas are also like that. Anushtup, Chandas, Trishtup, etc. Gayatri, meter, that also. Mitam, they are all measured. Amitam, not measured. When it cannot be Amitam, that when it is in the form of a, a paragraph or prose, prose form. So mantras, rig mantras are in the particular meter, particular you know, format, form, where the letters are measured. Their limit, their, their particular, the stipulated number of letters will be there. Amitam, there is uh, no such thing. So, it, therefore, the mantra is in the form of a prose, prose, like uh, Bhagadaranika, etc. Amitam. Swaraha, Swaraha is when the mantras are put, set into music, Swaraha. Like uh, the Samaveda mantra, Samaveda, Samaganam, is say, Swaraha. So, therefore, <clears throat> Mitam referring to Rig Mantra, Amitam referring to the, you can take Yajur Veda Mantras and Swaraha referring to Sama Veda Mantras. So therefore, all these are words, words of the, the Veda, Swaraha. Satya Andrute, Satya Andrute is Satyam is Satyam, Andrata is Asatyam. So the Vak, the speech includes all these Vikaras, truth and lies also. Truth and lies, satyam, satyam, andrata. So these are the five forms of five modifications, fivefold modification of the vikara of the words mitam, amitam, swaraha iti, vaidika. Referring to the three Vedas, the words, the, the, mantra, the words of the Veda, and satya andrate, referring to the the words which are, which are satya, which are uh, the words can be really. Uh, refer to something, it may be a truth or it may be a lie also. So all these are vikaras of the words. So <clears throat> Tikakara says satya means the words which are used to reveal the Vyavaharika Vastu, they are satyam. The words which are used to refer to Pratibhasika, they are Handratamiti. So that meaning also possible, that meaning also we can take. So satya means truth, Handratam means not truth, lie. So, Satya Andrate, iti yeshaha vikaraha, pancha vikaraha yasyaha, kasyaha vachaha. Taya vacha by that work, padatvena in the form of a padam, padatvena parichinaya, which is in the form of a padam, padam consisting of a limited number of words. Padam is nothing but aksharanam samugaha. So, therefore, it is a padam, padatvena parichinaya, which is limited by words, the speech, which is limited by words, the speech the, limited by words, Karana Gunavatya, Karana Gunavatya, Karana Gunavati, here, Guna is not, uh, Guna means attribute, Guna, it is Gona here, we have to take the meaning of the word, Guna means Gona, Gunavati, see, Gunavati, the Tritya Vati Gunavatya, Karana Gunavatya. So Karanam is the Gauna, the secondary. For the words, the words are the primary, and the words are produced by the Karanam. The, therefore, the importance is given to the words, not to the Karana. Therefore, Karanam is the Gauna. Gauna, gauna Gunaha means Gauna. Gauna means Upasarjanam, secondary. So Karanam. Gunaha Yasyahasa Karana Gunavati Iti Srilinga Shabda. So Tritya Bhakti of Karana Gunavati is Karana Gunavatya like Vidhi Shabda The compound is Bhaguriki compound. Qualifying qualifying the speech. Karanam, which is Gunaha, Gunaha meaning Gaunaha, Gaunaha meaning Upasarjanam, Upasarjanam Samasa we use Upasarjanam. That is different, technical. Pasajanam also in general, we have the meaning secondary. So, Karanam is secondary for which 
for what? That is speech. Yasyahasa. Karanam, Gunaha, it is Upasarjanam, Gaunam, Yasyahasa, Sa, Karna Gunavati. Gunavati, that it is Matupratya. Like the Mat, but yet become Va, because Pratipadi am ending with Akara, Guna, therefore Matup will become Matup. The Ma will be replaced by Va, by a rule. Like Balabat, Balavan. So we have Gunabat. And Sri Linga, Gunavati, we need to add Ipratya, Agni Pratya, so that Gunavati you get. So Karana Gunavati. So Karanam is subservient for which? What is that? Which means it is speech. So speech is primary and Karanam is secondary. That is the, the meaning. Speech, the words are primary and they are produced by the Karana, which is secondary. Therefore, by Karana Gunavatya, Na abhyuditam anabhyuditam. Karana gunabhatya anabhyuditam. Not revealed by. Not revealed by the speech. The words. Anabhyuditam. Aprakashitam. Aprakashitam. Anabhyuditam means not told, not described. Vashikara says aprakashitam, not revealed. Anab anabhyuktam, not told. Not told means cannot be. Cannot be revealed. So, mitam amitam swaraha satya andrate iti pancha fivefold vikara belongs to what? That, by that, taya vacha belongs to what? Belongs to words only, speech only. Taya vacha, that work, that speech, padatvena parichinnaya, when it is constrained by the padam, the speech, and for which the karana is the gauna, the secondary. Taya anabhyuditam. By that, Brahma is not revealed. So by Vak, Brahma is not revealed. That is the meaning. By Vak, the Brahma is not. That is that's what Acharya says using all these words. All the all the possible vikaras he says. We have the by Veda words. And of course, in Mitam Amitam Swaraha referring to all the Vedika. Satya Mandritam all the referring to all the Lokika words. You can take Lokika. Of course, we have to get Lokika because Vedika words are covered. And Lokika and Loka, we have Vyavagara and Pratibhasika. So Vyavagara, whatever we say, that is Satyam. Andritam also is in Vyavagara. And Pratibhasika, of course, with respect to Vyavagara, it is Andritam, not real. Therefore, Andrita can refer to Pratibhasika, subjective reality. So Satya, Andrita. Therefore, all the, all, the, all the words, all the speech are covered. These are the Vikara, the modifications. The form of the speech, yasyaha, vachaha, by that vacha, padatvena parichanaya, when it is constrained by a padam, and for which the karana is the guna, guna that is gona, that is karanam is a means, karanam is a gona, so subservient to the speech. So by that, anabhyutam vacha na anabhyutam na prakashitam, Brahma is not revealed. Iti. Okay, next. Yena uh, Brahmana, I think uh, we'll read in the next class. Okay, we'll stop here. Om Purnamada Purnamitam Purnat Purnamada Chate Purnasya Purnamadhaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om Dhanyavadaha. धन्यवाद वशरिंजी धन्यवाद वशरिंजी